Dome, you're uh, back out at, at training, obviously uh, bitterly disappointed with what had happened at, at Red Bull. How has, uh, how has the collective response been for you? Uh, you know, you never want to lose. You mentioned form-wise, it was, it was a very good performance. You were proud of the team. Uh -huh. um, it was out of their hands with the situation with the official. But how, how have they responded coming back out to training? Oh, they responded uh, really well because uh, everybody knows what what happened last last game. Tan Tan Page is uh, I want to talk about the referees that happened in Sunday, and right now we have focus in the next game in Colorado. Will be not not easy because it's, uh, you know that uh, they get a good results, especially uh, at home. They were able to win LA, for example, and Minnesota. Uh, and draw the last game in, in Poland, uh, good, good teams. That means uh, uh, it's, not, it's not an easy game. Uh, and you know, in Colorado it's about uh, maybe they have uh, 10 degrees more than here, the altitude, but uh, we have to be ready to play in Colorado, in LA and whatever, because uh, the performance is really, really well, our performance, but uh, everybody knows we, we need to, to get Points uh, again because uh, uh, I'm happy for the performance, but it's not uh, good enough for us when that happened and when we lose uh, the last two games in the, in the MLS. That was that was my next question because we often have uh, you often talk about the, the performance versus result, and it's yeah. not always necessarily the same. No. But but is there a concern for you about the losses or? Do you see inside of the loss of the performance being good, so you're still in a good way? No, uh, we're still in a good way. It's the best way to play, but uh, everybody knows we have to finish the when you have opportunities. Uh, it's my opinion, but in the first uh, in the first half we can uh, we could score maybe two goals mm -hmm. more. And what happened in soccer, uh, the game usually is is over, you know. But if you play much better than the opening and you score just one goal uh, and you make one mistake, it's one one, and after that, uh, you know, uh, every everything uh, can happen. And we have to finish the actions because uh, sometimes you play much better than the opening. But uh, uh, the best the best uh, way to to take confidence is uh, to, to win the next game and the next game. Uh, obviously, is, uh, if you play much better, you have more possibilities to win the, the game, but uh, the result is not the best result for us. The performance is good, but uh, I know sometimes we miss uh, two important players, as Isman and Mitita, because they, they score many goals for us, and that happened in the last uh, two games, and we are not able to, to score when we have the clear opportunities. And after that, uh, when you analyze the, the match, uh, maybe uh, you are happy, but not uh, for the result, because the most important thing when you finish the league is the, if you are able to win more games than the, the Open. I'm very happy just for the performance, for the idea. I think we are in the right uh, way to improve and improve. But uh, the most important thing is to finish. I remember the top teams when they have three or four opportunities to score two or three mm. goals. And that is the difference sometimes. You have two key players missing because of yellow card suspension. Uh, yes. Alex Ring and Maxime, the spine of the team. Uh -huh. what, how is that going to affect your game plan for, uh, for Saturday? Well, we recover Jimmy, for example. We have, uh, recover Tony and Rocha. We have enough players in this position. Uh, we miss uh, maybe the, this kind of players, Mitrita and Isma, because the, the quality is different, you know. But that happens when you are not able to win the game. You miss <laughs> all the time the, the players uh, who didn't play, you know. But we, ha we can play with uh, Alex Collins, with Seb, with Jimmy, with, even with Ben at the center back. We have Tony, we have enough players in the middle. Uh, everybody knows uh, these two players are important for us, but everybody is important for us. But I think we have uh, enough players to uh, to play the, the next game, uh, beat out Ringy and, and, and Chenot. You, um, you just mentioned um, injury-wise, you, you think perhaps you recover Jimmy, um, but uh, Isma and, uh, and uh, Matrita maybe not? 
Uh, Ismail uh, is not ready yet. I don't know because I have to, to ask the, the doctors about that. Uh, uh, we thought uh, the, the, uh, he was able to, to play against Red Bull, but the, the bad news for us is right now he's not ready to play. Admitri maybe he can play uh, the same the last game gas. 15 20 minutes because it's the first training with the with the, the team today we have uh, two days uh, after the uh, before the game but uh, maybe maybe he's in the bench maybe it's in the bench I, I have to think about that and maybe he's ready to play 15 20 minutes because uh, physically is not in the it's not uh, ready to play 60 60 minutes for example you mentioned uh, 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 Gus he, he uh, hadn't played a competitive match since the middle of May. Um, you, you give him a run out um, uh, for, for 10 minutes plus the stoppage time. Uh, what did you think, one, of, of the way that he played in that short amount of time, and, and also how he's um, kind of recovered since that, since that first okay. uh, match action? Okay, he's, he's very, very tired right now, but it's normal because uh, uh, the last full training uh, session for, for him uh, was very hard. Uh, it's the same situation I remember whenever mm -hmm. uh, start started to play with us. Uh, we have to be, uh, be careful to this player because uh, they can get injured if not. Uh, I think he's ready to play 30, 35 minutes or 40 minutes maybe uh, the, last, uh, the next game. But it's a step by a step because mm. when that happens and the temperature is uh, is another, it's not a Scottish weather, you know. <laughs> uh, he's very tired, but it's normal because uh, the last, you know, the last game was in in, in May. Uh, but I'm very happy with him because he played 15-20 minutes and uh, he did uh, clever passes and I'm sure he will be a good good player for us going to have to deal with another challenge in uh, Colorado with the altitude. Talk about your experiences playing in those type of conditions and what you're going to prepare differently with the team. No, it's not easy. We traveled two or three days before. We traveled, uh, we will travel uh, uh, tomorrow. It's not easy to uh, to used to working in two or three days in, in different temperature and the altitude, you know. But it is what it is. That is the MLS and uh, we have to do that quickly, it's not easy, but not for us, it's for every single team in the MLS, but the MLS is, uh, is different in Europe because the travel is about six, seven hours, uh, the temperature is different here in, I don't know, maybe in Minnesota and Colorado, you know, and, and even in New York, and okay, we, we, we have to play, we will try to play in the, in the same way, it's not easy to play because uh, in Colorado, because uh, maybe they, they are in good form right now. In the last month they, they got uh, uh, good results. And we have to be ready to play with the altitude, with the temperature. It's not excuse because uh, the rest of the team play in Colorado as well. But uh, we, we, we knew that uh, and we have to accept the, the challenge. Uh, Jonathan Lewis has become a key man for, for them, scored a goal, a goal their last game, um, has started pretty regularly for them. Um, do you think he's uh, maybe a little uh, excited to, to play his former team? And I don't know. I'm happy for, for him because they have more opportunities to play in Colorado. Mm -hmm. It's a good, good news for him because here, uh, when the people ask me about, not uh, about John, about the uh, Many players say, okay, Mitri in the bench, or yeah. Gans in the bench, or Isma in the bench, ever in the bench, that in the bench, it's about that. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy for him because he deserved to play, and uh, especially in that moment because uh, uh, sometimes he plays for the national team and he has more opportunities to, to show uh, his quality. But here, when you have six or seven Good, good players. It's not easy to play. Uh, that that happened in the top teams in Barcelona, Real Madrid. If you want to play with Real Madrid, you have to be ready sometimes uh, to to start in the in the bench or, or, or not all the time in the in the eleven. That happening with Jonah. Jonah is a good, good player. is a is a is a young player, and I'm happy for him because he's a good guy. And it's the, I think it's better for the both teams for Colorado. 
they sign a, a good player and even for the New York City because uh, it's not it's not easy uh, to convince Jonah. Uh, sometimes uh, I want to play with Mitri, with Isma, with Ever, with Maxi Morales, with with Chatty, with guys right now, with Jesus Medina. Last one for me. The team uh, going into the Portland game had only had one loss, so was doing a very good run of form. You've lost uh, two MLS games plus the Orlando game, so three losses in a row. How do you, how do you, how do you turn it around? Two losses in a row. Uh, in Orlando, is a draw. It's a penalty. It's a, it is what it is. Uh, no, uh, I say before that, uh, the performance is good. We have to finish when we have a, a possibility to score. That is the first one. We have to play in the, in the same way. I think uh, we play well. But it's not good enough for us. We have to to get the results because uh, if not, I, I I I need it's my job. I need to analyze what happened in the pitch, not the the fans, the journals. The, it's, it's about the result. It's about the result. Uh, who is the the best coach right now? Uh, LA coach. The reason why <laughs> he's the lead. He's the he's the lead in the competition. The was coach. It's not. It's not about that. Believe me. But sometimes uh, you analyze. If you are able to win the game, you are a good coach. If not, you are a bad coach. You are the best coach because you are the first position. Usually, it's, you are right. But it's not uh, all the time about that. But yeah, I accept that. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm ex experiencing that, and I know what happened when you don't get the results. I. I can convince our fans, our uh, the journalists. We play in the. For me, we play in the same way one or two months ago. The difference, we we got results, and the good results against uh, at common and away, and we have to come back uh, quickly and, and again stronger.